वेलकम टू अनिल नायर क्लास यूट्यूब चानल एक्सट्रीमली इंफर्मेटिव वीडियो फॉर आल द स्टूडेंट्स हू आर गोयिंग टू पास इन टू थवेंटी वन एंड प्लानिंग टू रईट कंपनी सेलेक्शन रिटर्न टेस्ट इन टू थवेंटी वेरी वेरी इंपारटेंट इंफर्मेशन कैब जेमिनी कैब जेमिनी has changed their examination pattern for the students who are going to complete their graduation in 2021 don't get confused cap gemini 2020 this year they conduct the examination they select the students based on five rounds for the students who are going to pass out in 2021 this video is for all the students who are going to pass out in 2021 and are preparing for placements cap gemini very good company to work with now this year they have made a lot of changes previously there was quantitative aptitude and logical reasoning which was a first section now this year they made it into pseudo code house the first round complete change in pattern we will discuss in detail in this video welcome to anil nair classes channel kindly like the video once if you find the video to be an extremely useful information for each one of you and kindly share this video with everybody who is preparing for cap gemini now see here cap gemini 2020 cap gemini is going to hire the students who are going to be pass out in 2021 in the next few months the first question is are you ready do you know the eligibility pattern of cap gemini company and do you have a plan <coughs> do you have a strategy in place for you to clear the cap gemini round where the questions are of moderate to difficult level are you prepared with all the skills that is required for them to select you if you are not knowing any of this then you are moving in the wrong direction or probably this video is to guide you cap gemini let us see the eligibility criteria cap gemini cap gemini 2020 test can be taken by all the students who belong to cap gemini partnered college so your college should be partnered with cap gemini please immediately check it out with your placement department and check it out if your college is associated with cap gemini most of the good engineering colleges who have got a great nirf rank are already partnered with cap gemini right you should be studying in a college which has partnered with cap gemini and you should be from either from be or btech or mca be btech and mca students 2021 going to be pass out students are only eligible to ride these cap gemini 2020 now what should is what is the eligibility criteria in 10th you should get 60 percentage you should have mandatorily got minimum 60 percentage not only in 10th 12th also you should have got 60 percentage graduation percent graduation percentage till now in case if you are studying in 6th semester till now you should get again 60 percentage 10th 12th and degree you should get 60 percentage in case if you got less than 60 percentage in 10th or 12th or graduation then you cannot write this examination they kept an upper cap on the students based on their past academic score 10th 60 12th 60 and graduation 60 all the three conditions should be satisfied in case you got 10th 72 12th 58 you are out 10th 80 12th 80 graduation you spoiled it and you got 55 percentage you are out there should not be any active backlogs an active backlog is a backlog which exists right now when you are there in the current semester from the previous semester there should not be any more than one year gap between 12th and degree there should not be maximum one year gap there are students who probably complete their intermediate or plus 12 they take two years to prepare for 
in engineering and entrance examination they are not allowed maximum one year gap should be there between 12th and degree in case if you got more than one year gap for various reasons it could be your preparation for iits it could be health issues it could be any other reasons you are not eligible to write these cap gemini 2020 examination you are eligible to write cap gemini 2020 examination in case only if and if if you are from be btech or mca you are going to be pass out in 2021 you got 10th 60 12th 60 and graduation 60 there are no active backlogs and you got maximum one year gap if there is no gap that is well good and fine in case if you got more than one year gap bit from you are intermediate to joining graduation then you cannot write this examination five criterias extremely important please check it out right now whether you are fulfilling these five criterias if you are fulfilling these five criterias you can write the examination which is going to happen very soon now let us see the previous year pattern and the current year pattern previous year there used to be five rounds aptitude these previous year pattern it is of no use to us i will delete the old pattern video it serves no purpose to you now what is the new test pattern very very extremely good pattern i would say this is how the placement test should be conducted the first round all are eliminator rounds sir all are eliminator rounds it is not that you are exceptionally good in coding you will get a job it is not that you are exceptionally good in verbal you will get a job right they are going to check your proficiency in five important parameters the first round it is pseudo code i will discuss in detail the pseudo code pseudo code it is a multiple choice questions next it is cognitive ability test cognitive ability test checks your questions based on quantitative aptitude and reasoning i will do and comprehensive coverage of each and every section verbal ability verbal ability they are going to check your profession proficiency in verbal related topics like grammar verbal logic reading comprehension right miscellaneous types behavior ability they will give you a situation they will check how you are responding to that situation whether you are an emotionally strong person whether you are an emotionally weak person you get tensed if there is a pressure situation given to you you are a very calm and composed character right whether you can you are thinking laterally or you are very thinking like the way others are thinking you are behavioral aspects it's an extremely important test i'm so happy that this test got introduced in capgemini because there are a lot of fortune 100 companies which conduct this test because there are some exceptionally brilliant performers who are very bad with team management there are a lot of people who carry a lot of ego with what they have so in a company when you are working with a team ego comes secondary agreeing to disagreeing with people celebrating difference in opinion accepting what you are not good at it respecting other person's ability all these play a very important role not only in team but also for you to become good in with the society verbal behavior ability test next is technical interview where they will ask you if there are any errors in the code they will ask you to write a code they will ask you to tell what probably is the missing logic in the code finally it is your hr interview five rounds old round there was no essay writing so only thing is in place of essay writing behavior ability test is there five rounds are there every round you are not clearing the first round you cannot sit in second round you are not clearing second round you cannot get into the third round similarly the process goes on for five so it's extremely important for a student to be very comfortable in knowing all these five topics now let us discuss round by round the first round is an pseudo code test pseudo code is nothing but before you write the actual code in your mind you will prepare an algorithm so in this pseudo code they are going to check your 
algorithmic abilities they are going to check whether you are going to write the code by using step by step process they are going to check your thinking structured thinking through these pseudo cost as i told it's an eliminated test they will test the logical ability of the candidate right they will check whether you are able to build a structure to your right suppose if you are solving a problem you will read the problem you will understand the problem you will identify the root cause of the problem you will see the domain of the problem then you will solve it in mathematics same is the case right they will check your logical ability and it is not a coding process prior to coding process they are going to check your structured thinking i repeat structured thinking and generally the pseudo code will be of moderate to difficulty level especially the students who cannot think probably who are not into a step by step problem solving will find it very difficult to sir clear this first round and please remember if you do not clear clear this first round you are out of the selection process questions will be moderate right to difficult generally they will give you some amazing pseudo case test for you to solve it ensure that you are very very good in algorithmic based things for you to be good in algorithmics these subject matters a most algorithmic analysis of design given a pseudo code you are if you are good in these design and analysis of algorithms divide and conquer can i use it why divide and conquer can only be used for sorting and searching problems when can i use greedy method when can i not use dynamic programming when will i use backtracking when will i use branch and bound why if i do in this structured way the time complexity will result in a polynomial if it is resulting in non polynomial what is the grammar that i use whether i can use a type 0 or a type 1 or a type 2 or a type 3 you have a good understanding of a chomsky's hierarchy all these matters a lot which will enhance your structured thinking pseudo code i am i hope it is clear algorithm they are going to check your structured thinking way they are going to check your logical ability in drafting out the structure of the program i hope you got an idea about these pseudo code test next it is cognitive ability test in cognitive ability they are going to check your mathematical ability and reasoning ability from the topics quant and reasoning most important topics to be concentrated are from arithmetic another eliminator round if you are not good in this round then probably you are out of the selection process you need to concentrate on arithmetic then you need to concentrate on number system we have observed a good questions from permutation and combination probability and then probably you can concentrate on algebra and some questions based on mensuration these are the most important topics you need to concentrate on quantitative aptitude right they are going to you need to know the smarter ways of solving a question you need to know which are concept to be used when if you are going with a traditional method of solving you are going to move in the wrong direction i hope it is clear reasoning reasoning or there are close to 22 plus sub topics all the reasoning sub topics are of extreme importance starting with coding decoding alpha numeric series blood relations decoded inequalities some virtual reasoning based questions clocks and calendars all these are very important and the paper entire all the sections will be of moderate to advanced level difficulty paper you are understanding of all the shortcuts in aptitude and reasoning plays an extremely important role for you to clear this second round third round it is verbal ability test any student who has a fair love towards reading novels watching good movies and has got a great schooling with a great english skills will have an edge on this program in this verbal ability they might ask you questions based on 
grammar they might ask you based questions on reading comprehension they might ask you questions based on verbal logic which is syllogism advanced problems on syllogism para completion para summary para jumbles they might ask you questions based on critical reasoning and some fill in the blanks questions might also ask so these are the topics which you need to concentrate grammar reading comprehension verbal logic miscellaneous generally capgemini verbal part it is considered to be again a moderate difficulty level so especially the students who has gone through all the topics some questions might also be based on vocabulary all the parts of speech reading comprehension mood based fact based reasoning based inference based right that direct data based all these varieties you should need to be good vocabulary right some vocabulary questions can be learnt through our visual vocabulary videos verbal logic and miscellaneous moderate to difficult level again an eliminator round if you do not clear this you cannot go back so it's extremely important for a student to have an understanding on a pseudo code on quant verbal ability i will do some special videos on capgemini cognitive ability test for you to have an understanding on that video next one write behavioral ability test extremely interesting situation based analysis generally i see these test happening for an iims where they give a case study they will ask you to analyze it just i remember when my younger brother got into i am bangalore right one of the case study which was given is a teacher came and kept a dot kept a dot very abstract topic is given to you and they asked my brother to write write everything about dot they will give you one or two minutes to think and they will ask you to dot dot could be the end of the sentence dot 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 could be so on and so forth dot is the beginning of the universe on a white paper black dot is nothing but uh, probably an idea of being a rebel right dot 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 it also probably from vedic literature brahma vishnu maheshwara dot 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 ra is nothing but formless giving form it is nothing but physical intimacy converting ra ra rahim robert all the god's name starts with ra which gives a form to the formless so it could be anything else right so just i told whatever that come into my mind it is nothing but an abstract based similarly similarly here they will give a situation to you and they will check how you are handling that situation probably they are going to check whether you have the doni qualities whether you have the seva qualities of being impatient right whether you are a person if any situation happens whether you are calm and composed first understand the root cause of the problem basically this behavioral ability test talk reflects a lot about your personality are you a person who is a very rational by person are you a person who is quite high on emotions whether you are a person who right first understand the problem without getting panicky to the situation behavioral ability test it's extremely important because you are going to work with people coming from a diversified culture and diversified upbringing so it's extremely important for you to be very flexible with respect to your personality to win the hearts of the people and take the people along as you go forward probably the greatest skill set of any person is being good with people around you should know how to take the work also once you become a great manager short listed candidates will get into capgemini technical round and hr round behavioral ability test work on your behavioral aspects so that you will be called as a good human being with people around next it is next test it is nothing but one minute sir next test it is nothing but the technical round in technical round that will be code coding based 
they might ask you to write a code for a given problem they might ask you to find out the errors in the program they might ask you to give a code and they might ask you to tell what mistake it is there in terms of syntax they might ask you to check the fundamentals of operating system design and analysis of algorithms computer networking they might ask questions based on c c plus plus java python anything that can be asked in the technical round technical round it is extremely important for you to have a good idea on the fundamentals of programming languages, fundamentals of operating system, design and analysis and data structures. Very, very important topics you need to know it. So, they will only ask you the fundamentals, then comes the HR interview. HR interview is one interview whether they will see the person who is sitting in front of them is the person who is seen in the resume. Please remember the first five minutes of your HR interview talks a lot about your confidence levels, your ability to answer the question, your ability to accept and know, right? And give a very honest answer. All this will be checked in your HR interview. Again, I am repeating, it is a 5 rounds interview. First round is your algorithmic abilities, structured thinking, which is pseudocode. Only when you clear the pseudocode. Next, it is quant plus reasoning round, which we call it as cognitive ability test. Next, it is verbal ability test. Next, it is your right behavioral ability test. Then finally, it comes your technical as well as HR round. Each and every round, it is an elimination round. So, it's extremely important for you know, to know the concepts, shortcuts and tricks. In case if you are a person who are struggling with aptitude, verbal and reasoning and you are extremely stressed out because you have attempted few companies and you are not able to clear it. Like uh, at least 400 students has messaged me, Goldman Sachs, probably they could not do well, right? Still you have got chances, no point in thinking over the past. Past is a cancelled check, tomorrow an uncertain promissory note and today the ready cash. Give a WhatsApp to this number and buy our course which is placement CRT and learn all the concepts of quantitative aptitude, verbal and reasoning. Don't delay the things. If you fail to plan, you will plan to fail. Right? I will conduct some cognitive ability test to give you a fair understanding of it. You still you have not enrolled for the course, kindly WhatsApp this number and enroll for the course and maximize your chances of getting a job during the world's toughest crisis that is a corona crisis that is happening lot of people are losing their jobs lot of people are struggling to keep their jobs a golden opportunity is waiting for you don't misutilize it what's up this number to know more about the program details thanks a lot for watching the video kindly do not leave this video without clicking on the like button and share this video with as many friends as possible download in the comment i will pin the pdf you can download the pdf of whatever i discussed right now so that it gives an idea thanks a lot once again for watching the video with love anil nayar